Oh, snap. It's another release of Visual Studio Code. My name is Brian Clark, and I'm coming to you from the Microsoft campus in Redmond, Washington, and I'm ready and excited to share with you the features in this month's release. Let's go take a look at some of them. Ever get lost and need to find your way back home? If you drop some breadcrumbs along the way, you'll know where to go. VS Code can do the same in your projects. Enable the breadcrumbs feature to easily traverse folders, files, and even symbols within those files. No one likes it when someone brings up problems without offering solutions. VS Code feels the same and provides quick fixes to issues shown in the problems view. Right click a problem and choose the resolution you'd like to apply. Everybody's happy. React devs rejoice! Thanks to the TypeScript 3 support, you'll be typing fewer angle brackets in your JSX code. Once you complete the beginning tag, VS Code will automatically add the closing tag for you. You can also fold elements within JSX now. If you like to clickety-click on things when customizing your software, then VS Code has you covered. A settings UI is available to give you a more visual way of tuning elements to your liking. It's currently in preview, so be sure to share your feedback with the team. Working for a company with an IT department that locks down machines can sometimes make it challenging to install dev tools. VS Code allows user-level installs to make it a bit easier and avoid some of the headache in getting started at work. And that wraps it up for this month's release of Visual Studio Code. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, it would be a great deal of help if you could share and like this video so that others may get value out of it as well. Thanks again. I hope to see you next time. Happy coding, everyone.